of the array and replace each of them with their arithmetic mean which does not have to be an integer for example from the array this is the array if you choose the first three elements 1 2 and 3 their mean is sum of all these divided by 3 which is 6 by 3 which is 2 so replace all these elements by 2 so if we choose all the first three elements we can get the array this if we choose these two elements and these one elements and find their arithmetic mean the mean will become 4 by 3 and replace all the three elements by 4 by 3 so if we choose this is saying that if you if you choose all the elements expect accepting the third one so we have to find whether it is possible to make all the elements of the array equal by performing a finite number of operations or not and this is the input case which is t number of test cases which ranges from 1 to 200 and the first line of line consists of an integer n which is the size of the array and the next line contains n integers elements of the array and output whether it is possible to make all the elements same will print yes otherwise will print no so this is the input let's copy it Yeah, all done. So basically, we are saying that all the elements are same. So in this case, yes. Let's take the another one. Let's take this case. So first of all, please make an arrow of float, not int. Float array of size n which is in this case 1 2 3 4 5 this is our array let's index and 4 so here the value of n is 5 so first of all let's find the sum of all the elements of the array in this case sum is from here to here 5 4 9 12 15 the sum is 15 and iterate over all these elements all these elements from 0 to n minus 1 so iterate over all these elements and calculate check if whether sum minus array i element by n minus 1 is equals to ith element or not calculate this value and divide it by n minus 1 and check whether it is equals to this if this condition satisfies you can print yes otherwise you will print no so i write over 0 to n minus 1 and for all value check this and if any condition satisfies you will print yes otherwise you will print no this is loop this is the condition checking and after the loop if no one condition made this you will print no in this case 
let's take this example which is this one so here sum equals to 24 plus 2 which is 26 plus 22 26 plus 20 Sum of all these which is 48. So for zeroth element, check whether 48 minus 24 by n minus 1. Here n is n is 3, so by 2. So 48 minus 24, which is 24 by 2, which is 12. Is this element equals to 12? No. Check for the next one. It is sum minus 2 so sum minus 2 is so this is the sum forty eight minus 2 by 2 which is 23 is this element equals 23 no nope. next again for this value calculate sum minus 22 by n minus 1 so this is 13 and check is this element equal to 13 no so either of these elements is equal to this this and this one so in this case your answer will be no if any one of these two three satisfy the condition you can print yes so hope you understand this if you have any problem regarding this solution let me know in the comment section so hope you guys like this video if you like this please leave a like and subscribe to this channel so see you in next video